So the first thing that you're gonna do whenever you establish um, a one point perspective drawing is very lightly, you want to give yourself around the middle of the page, your horizon line, and then somewhere approximately in the middle is gonna be your vanishing point. And this is the point where all of those lines moving back in space are gonna, going to appear to diminish or disappear. So the first thing I'm gonna do, step number one to draw a cube, I'm gonna start with a two inch front face square. So two inches by two inches, making sure what should be a true horizontal is a true horizontal and what should be a true vertical is a true vertical. Like that. So that is step number one, drawing the front face of our cube. The second step is gonna to be to take all four corners to our vanishing point. Any corner that goes from the corner to the vanishing point with no, without running into anything else, those lines will be solid. And then any corner that goes through the front face to get to the vanishing point like this last one will be a dotted line. And again, I like to make my dots very small, very short, very close together. Like so. And then our third step is gonna be to draw in the back face of our cube. So whatever shape happens at the front, in this case it happens to be a square, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. We're gonna do the same exact thing, but just simply slid back along those diminishing lines to make it further, further back from us. So I'm gonna take this front horizontal for the top, slide it back, making sure it is horizontal. This front vertical, I'm gonna slide it back. This bottom horizontal, I'm gonna slide it back. And since, since it is going through the cube, that one will be dotted. And then my last vertical and it is also going through the cube, so it will also be dotted. Now, one thing that I try to remember is to make sure on this back corner, I want a dot or a dash from each of those dotted lines to all touch. That way I know exactly where that back corner is. And then last but not least, you can erase all of your extra diminishing lines. So for this line in particular, this one's sometimes a little confusing, I only need this dotted diminishing line from the front corner to the back corner. But any of the dots that take place after that, I can go ahead and erase. And that's your basic cube in one point perspective. I did also wanna show you an example of what it looks like to draw a cube that overlaps, um, that overlaps the um, vanishing point. So here we have the front face drawn here I've taken the corners to the vanishing point, but this time they're all dotted because they all go through that front face to get to the vanishing point. And then the third step is to draw in that back face. And then once it's complete, once I've erased everything, it'll end up looking something like this. So that's a good quick review for boxes in one point percent.